support in my ideas to help out the communities and Winnipeg in a whole and PCs. Mm -hmm. Their their motivation is is, is amazing. Mm -hmm. Can you, are there any specific policies or specific things that the Tories have said they would do that the NPP haven't done? Can you be any more specific? The more, it's kind of, uh, how do I describe it? The, uh, when I arrived in Winnipeg, the, um, the, the inner lake region where I'm from mm -hmm. was flooded out. Mm -hmm. And... I needed to help out in a way to take care of these kids that are homeless because some communities have been washed out. Mm -hmm. And it was the PCs that were ready and available to raise money and quickly do something about it within days mm -hmm. of helping them out. And I was amazed at how quickly these guys can get things done. Hmm. So they share my values in helping out, you know, uh, families that need help out. Okay. The Tories have also been fairly critical, though, of things like um, the power line down the west side. They prefer it down the east side. They've been critical of how child welfare has been devolved to Aboriginal groups. Um, there's a lot of Aboriginal groups in the province that might see that NDP is more friendly to First Nations. You don't share that? You're, uh, is that the, the, my idea is you're never going to satisfy everybody. Yeah. My point in time right now, my priority is moving back yeah. and creating action that speaks for itself. And at this particular time and moment, uh, the PC has the same direction that I have. And um, the, I have a year plan. Within that year plan, people will understand why there's a, a connection here in making that change. So are you going to actively campaign? Are you going to door knock? Are you, are you the, I have to. Or? i, I got to go do a movie yeah. or a TV show till yeah. December. Yeah. So um, my availability is very limited. Okay. So I'm going to try to come back at certain times, but right now it's just making connections with, with the likes of John yeah. and uh, sharing our, our vision on what we can do, especially with Point Douglas, but yeah. in, in Winnipeg as a whole. Okay. And have the Conservatives said that they'll support some of your uh, initiatives when, once you get them going? Is that, have they sort of offered some support? Of yeah, well, of for me it's like my initiatives, I hope, Manitoba as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, as a whole um, um, participates and helps out in general. Okay. And what, what, what I'm trying to do is take Winnipeg not only as an important source of the province of Manitoba, but we're important when it comes to Canada. Okay. And traditionally, as Native peoples, when you look at Turtle Island as a North America structure, Winnipeg and Manitoba is the heartbeat okay. of North America, where we're placed. Okay. So for me, the importance of what happens in Winnipeg and Manitoba has changed will directly affect North America. Okay. Do you have any questions for John? Or? Uh, uh, sure. Um, Tell me a bit about your campaign. Have you, uh, when did you start uh, door knocking? Probably, probably a month and a half ago. Okay. Two months ago, and uh, it's it's been going rather well in the, in the uh, Point Douglas area. You know, we've gotten to uh, a lot of the homes and, and uh, found out what the people that in the area want and need, and you know, the needs of the area, and uh, we're working that into our policies and our campaign. Can you give me some examples? Well, you know what. Crime is a big problem in the area, so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do some things with that, and uh, you know, places for the kids to uh, uh, experience uh, play and, and uh, things to do, you know, for the kids. They want more things for the kids to do okay. in the area to keep them busier, and keep them out of trouble, you know. So that's basically about it. Crime and, and that. Okay. Crime is a big issue here. 
And I mean, this has traditionally been a pretty strong NDP neighborhood. Um, and, you know, they have an Aboriginal guy running this time, pretty well known in the community. What chance do you think you have of resting this? You know what, I think I've got a good chance. You know, um, as good a chance as anybody, you know, uh, the incumbent is not running. So, you know, the new, the new person has to make his way, and so do I. We're on equal playing field. It is an NDP riding, but we're going to turn it blue. Okay. This time around, you know, we need a big change here. Okay. It hasn't worked. Whatever has been going on here hasn't worked in the area. It's, uh, I think people need to be inspired, and I think that's that's our idea. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. when I come back here, no matter the results of what happens to this election with John, yeah. when I'm in, in Winnipeg and I move here, 50% of my time is going to be with him. Okay. in regards to closely motivating our youth and in this area because that's what needs to be done, you know. A lot of people are all about words and they have these grand ideas, but mm -hmm. at the end of it, the plan is never completed. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's happening right now is, is people are not satisfied with what, what has been happening.